So, with this, though, uh, Jerry Sloan passed away, I believe, last night or maybe early this morning. He was 78. Um, you know, you, you hate to hear something like this. He was the former Utah Jazz coach. He was a, a Hall of Fame coach. Just an incredible. Uh, what he did with the Jazz was remarkable. You know, he he did have two superstars, but they built that team uh, incredibly well. You know, it, Greg Popovich has always looked up to him, um, kind of built the same style. They played as a team, just yep. completely as a team. Um, he they said he died of complications related to Parkinson's disease and Lewy body dementia. Um, so it was not exactly the easiest way to go out. He he spent mm. 23 seasons with the Jazz. Um, I don't want to, you know, I'm not going to ask, are we going to ever see anybody like this again? Because surely we will. But, I mean, it, he was as old school as it gets, right? Yeah. That's it. Yeah, and, and, and Pop, Pop is the guy that I think of when I think of Sloan. Yeah. Oh, 100%. And, and it could, I mean, a lot of that could be the white hair, the stern face, you know, always, always serious. Um, you know, kind of thing. I just, I don't know. Um, he won 1,221 games in his career. That's the fourth highest in NBA history. Uh, statement released by NBA Commissioner Adam Silver said, Jerry Sloan was among the NBA's most respected and admired legends after an all-star playing career in which his relentless style shaped the Chicago Bulls in their early years. He became one of the all-time greatest head coaches during 23 seasons with the Utah Jazz, the second longest tenure in league history. He was the first coach to win 1,000 games with the same organization, which came to embody the qualities that made Jerry a Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Famer. Persistence, discipline, drive, and selflessness. Uh, he, he had over 40 years in the NBA. That is just remarkable. You know, at, he, basketball was his life. That's so, right. It is what it is. It's, He's uh, really good at it. At, I hate that – maybe I don't hate. I, I hate that the last – you know, that anybody really saw him was on that Jordan documentary. Yeah, but, he was he was just in all of our lives and kind of the butt of the joke a little bit. Yeah, and and then at the same time, I'm glad that he was at least brought to the forefront for a little bit before he passed away. Yeah, so well, I, you know, my, my, my opinion is losing to Jordan is not a knock on anybody's resume at all. Yeah. It's just, it's just not. No, there's a lot of not. teams that didn't win championships that could have won championships that were great teams and great players, and and it's absolutely not a knock on their on their resume at all. No, no, they just, just happen to be playing at the time in which the greatest player in the history of the world has ever played. Yeah, I mean, it, six championships in eight years, um, one and a half of which you know he didn't play. So <laughs> you know it's uh it it sucks, but uh but Sloan, I mean he. Even if he wouldn't, if he, if he didn't win a championship, that's okay because he was as well respected as you could possibly get. I mean, yep. they ran into dynasties all the time with Carl Malone and John Stockton, who were great, but I don't know that anybody necessarily puts them in the same breath as Kobe and Michael Jordan, et cetera. Right? So, you know, I, they are definitely up there. They're definitely Hall of Famers, but there's just a a different level. Different level. All right, we'll get off of that. Let's move into. 